Okay, good evening. Uh, I am Manish Mishra and I am going to present the uh, introduction to structured streaming. So, agenda for today will be What is structured streaming? Uh, since it's a, a new API, we will talk about the API changes and how is it different from the previous streaming engine uh, that was uh, provided by Spark before 2.0 and the structured streaming programming model uh, so how uh, uh, we think about programming when we do structured streaming and basic operations uh, like selection projection and aggregation and uh, then we will uh, do some basic of uh, window operations on event time and then there will be a, a spark shell demo so uh, to begin with what is structured streaming so it's a, a new API or a, a, a whole new streaming engine uh, from Apache Spark and uh, it was officially released with 2.0 although it is experimental uh, but, uh, uh, but uh, it is being used and uh, it is unification of uh, batch API like RDD uh, transformation that we use to make and the data frame and data set operations. So uh, what we uh, used to do with the, uh, the previous streaming engine was uh, we were uh, querying on D streams like uh, that was discretized stream uh, to perform streaming queries but now this has been unified with the data frame and the data set API that is currently uh, released uh, with the Spark 2.0 to make query similar like for streaming query as well as uh, SQL like queries we can both, uh, perform both uh, both queries on the data set and data frame APIs and <coughs> this is more fault tolerant uh, streaming engine since uh, the previous discretized streaming engine uh, streams uh, were not uh, fault tolerant uh, uh, in uh, perspect of uh, state management like uh, uh, providing the exactly one semant uh, semantics uh, in streaming so most of the time uh, when we have to ensure that uh, a particular transaction is uh, uh, being done exactly once uh, not the at most once or at least once uh, uh, I assume you are uh, familiar with these terms Manish, but we can use a write block to sustain yeah, the, the, the same process is being used by Spark write ahead logs and checkpoints uh, to ensure the exactly one uh, semantics so uh, what is new with this streaming engine? So uh, these are the uh, points uh, that are uh, different from the previous streaming engine that was uh, provided by Spark early to 2.0 release like uh, the entry point. So when we uh, think about the uh, streaming app, uh, designing a streaming app, uh, we first create a, a streaming context uh, prior to 2.0 uh, to uh, enter and uh, create discretized stream uh, on the uh, stream data that we are receiving but uh, the now we have spark session uh, with 2.0 release uh, a single session is uh, available for all computations like sql queries uh, stream compute computations and untyped operations uh, so for untyped operation we have data frames and for typed operation we have data sets and rdds and uh, similarly we can uh, join the batch queries and the streaming queries uh, uh, in uh, a single application like in previously we, we had uh, a micro batching but now uh, we can uh, combine a batch query with the uh, incoming streaming data and uh, uh, get the whole result uh, uh, exactly once uh, with, with the help of a new streaming uh, structured streaming engine so uh, Above all, uh, the API is uh, that is what a, a, a great advantage of uh, structured streaming that is uh, being uh, that has been modif uh, unified, like for batch queries, stream as SQL queries, and any other computations. So uh, these are uh, these are the uh, major differences. One more difference in uh, in terms of performance uh, that uh, structured streamings. Uh, is uh, bringing is uh, like uh, running queries on catalyst optimizer so previously we have to think about uh, the performance of the query and the semantics we are writing like we have uh, provided filters after uh, performing some actions 
so these all things are harnessing the power of catalyst optimizer uh, that is uh, also a new feature of spark 2.0 so when we write a query uh, we have our uh, own semantics like we have transformed data and uh, we have uh, made some filters and then again some uh, uh, transformations and then again some actions so uh, while uh, optimizing uh, by catalyst optimizer it, it uh, scan the whole flow and uh, it uh, process it uh, according to the rules that has been written for the catalyst optimizer like uh, what process uh, must be taken first to ensure that we are getting uh, utmost uh, performance so uh, for uh, unified api we, we have all those performance benefits with a structured uh, streaming api so uh, th this is the programming model uh, that we're talking about uh, like how uh, structured streaming or uh, the data stream uh, is considered in structured streaming so uh, a live data stream uh, is uh, now considered as an infinite table so we can see in this picture we have a table and uh, rows are being appended infinitely on the trigger of uh, 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 an event and uh, we have this data stream and we can <coughs> or put a new data stream uh, uh, that, that are uh, being appended or make some processing on it or we can join uh, the previous computed uh, results with this newly uh, arriving data and uh, we can ma uh, make a, a combined query. And uh, this uh, computation is, an, uh, uh, is uh, internally run as uh, an incremental query. So, uh, what I mean by an incremental query is like when we have uh, uh, defined some transformations on the ba uh, batch query uh, like we have in lambda architecture the cached view of the computed uh, re uh, results so far so we only compute the delta and uh, we merge these results with uh, uh, to, uh, to combine the, uh, the whole uh, to get the accurate uh, result uh, for the newly uh, arrived uh, data so uh, this incremental query is internally done by spark and the result of computation depends on the output modes specified in the streaming query so when we think about uh, like uh, 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 yes uh, incremental query is uh, uh, suitable for a, uh, a specific scenario like a count so you have a previous count you append new data count to Accumulated the correct result. Yes, uh, it, in it, more it, sentiment analysis, we have required to uh, fire query on all data. Okay. In that case, how we can solve it? So, Spark has uh, its own limitations, like uh, we should consider that amount of data we are making and then the current infrastructure we have. Like, once Spark knows, like, th these are the historical data and uh, we have this new query. And obviously, uh, uh, an operation has its, its limitation uh, for incremental query. Like, not all those algorithms are suitable for that. Like, uh, when we are making an average, we can combine it with the uh, fresh data and the previous computed uh, view. Uh, but uh, some other uh, view, like uh, groupings, we cannot do groupings on the combined groupings so, uh, or sortings. So, these operations are not incremental. So, only those operations which are incremental are. Uh, uh, done by spark in memory for the previously uh, computed data uh, along with the uh, fresh data and uh, i think sentiment analysis is a, has a broad uh, like implication so uh, i think uh, sentiment analysis uh, can be seen as like we have a model machine learning model that we are uh, updating uh, each time we are having a, a fresh bunch of rows uh, as a level points and we are keep on updating its and uh, we, uh, we make a decision on this. So these operations are totally uh, uh, like supported by Spark, but uh, we have to take considerations like uh, amount of memory we are providing uh, to Spark. So my question is that uh, the structure is going to provide uh, uh, recursive one thing also we can apply. Recursive, uh, obviously as long as uh, it is uh, the, the semantics of uh, uh, a recursive algorithm is to express uh, the iterative algebra like uh, we are uh, uh, we can combine uh, the same average uh, example uh, that was uh, i was giving like when we have computed average uh, for the previous result and we have two new delta rows 
and we can uh, get the average of those and count up those and combine to get the new data. So it uh, it depends on the algorithm, but uh, this computation is supported by SPA. Why sorting is not incremental? So uh, sorting is not incremental uh, because we have to reshuffle all the data uh, uh, along with the, uh, I mean, uh, nearly uh, uh, the raw, uh, raw source. So that is that is fine. If my source is getting incremented every time, so the result will also get changed. That is fine. Ah, so that 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 should be on the complete mode. Like uh, when we are uh, having an output mode uh, as a complete. So we have all the data I sorted uh, in a driver's memory, uh, so but uh, for the incremental uh, uh, operation, like we are only uh, computing the delta or the uh, other operations, like uh, we have uh, an append or update uh, output mode. I will talk about output modes later. So uh, we we have restrictions on uh, output modes, like certain amount uh, type of operations are permitted on certain. Uh, Output modes. So uh, these are uh, in the next slides. So uh, I think we are uh, clear with this diagram also. Like uh, this, th this is the time, and uh, we have inputs, and this is the output. So uh, this is the complete mode. So uh, for every uh, triggered every one second, uh, we have all the results in, at the end in the complete mode. And uh, for other two modes, I, I, I will uh, explain it later. Like th there are uh, three modes, output modes uh, provided by structured streaming now: uh, complete mode and update mode uh, and append mode. So, so complete mode uh, provides entire updated result table will be written to the sync or uh, whatever sync we are providing, like console or the uh, any other uh, text file or the database. So. Uh, Again, the storage connection uh, co connector had to decide how to handle writing of the entire table, uh, taking all those memory requirements uh, into con consideration. So, uh, when we specify an output mode as complete, we can get uh, uh, all the results so far uh, with every uh, every tick of this event. So, uh, when we have uh, take this uh, in complete mode, uh, we will uh, get all the all the records. But uh, for uh, there is one more uh, mode that is append mode. So uh, in append mode, only the new rows are appended in the result table uh, since the last trigger uh, will happen. So we have uh, identified. Uh, uh, we have defined one second uh, trigger here. So this the only uh, last last result that, uh, that uh, uh, with the trigger three we have result up to three, but in uh, append mode. Uh, the result would be only the record 3, the difference between the last trigger and the new trigger. So uh, this will be the uh, append mode and uh, it is a default mode uh, that, uh, of these uh, structured streaming. So when we are not defining any uh, mode, uh, output mode explicitly, we have uh, append mode. And uh, there is a restriction for this, like uh, this is applicable. Uh, on the queries where existing rows in the result table are not expected to change, like uh, we are making some computations and uh, some data might arrive late, and we have to change the entire result because of that. Uh, we have to ag make aggregation on that. So uh, the append mode uh, won't work there. And uh, last, the update mode uh, still uh, not implemented by Spark uh, since uh, till uh, Spark 2.0. And uh, I uh, I have not found any uh, developments on this uh, uh, in any of the release notes uh, since Spark 2.1.0. So I think uh, it is uh, in still in development. But uh, the idea behind update mode mode is uh, only the rows that were updated in the result. Like uh, we have a unique row and make aggregation on that. Only those rows uh, will be affected uh, in the update mode. So uh, when uh, when when we have data and uh, we are keeping on appending on uh, a new rows on every uh, tick, so only those rows which are uh, having uh, like uh, some different number uh, than the previous row uh, and uh, 
so only those records which are getting affected in the new rows added as delta uh, will be will be appended to the same for the uh, result so uh, this is the word count example uh, so the basic example uh, which describes how we can receive the data and uh, create a student data set and we can uh, make a word count so here uh, the output mode uh, will be complete uh, in the next slide so here uh, we are uh, have a, a data frame that is line and this is the read stream method uh, and the format is, uh, is socket so we receive data from the socket we have created locally uh, on a, a particular port and the host so uh, the host is local host and this is the port so when we uh, hit load uh, we only create a transformation or define a transformation here uh, of lines so these lines uh, will be uh, data from uh, of a string so uh, still data frame is untyped so uh, we have to change this uh, 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 for a particular type like th uh, this uh, words we have uh, lines as string uh, to convert this data frame as a data set so we know that uh, or we don't know data set is a typed uh, typed entity in the spark 2.0 so we have uh, we have to know the types of the records at the compile time uh, before uh, we are transforming it like for uh, calling uh, transformation like flat map or map uh, we have to convert it into a, some type uh, entity so this data frame uh, will be typed as a data set of string uh, in this uh, this uh, value words and uh, we will uh, flat map uh, these uh, as a words so now this is a data, data set of string and we, uh, we are going to generate the running word count so we we are going to group by a value so by default uh, the data set of a string will be uh, uh, infinite rows named as values uh, data set of uh, infinite rows named as uh, values and we, we have performed count so till this point we have defined only the transformation part of this system so uh, our receiver is a uh, uh, defined as a format socket here we can have a kafka source or uh, any source uh, string like parquet json uh, and text and obviously with the uh, right stream so uh, we are going to define a query a streaming query on this uh, data set of uh, rows uh, as a right stream so unless we uh, write right stream uh, we do not have a uh, provided any uh, streaming query on this so we can uh, call the write stream and output mode complete uh, here uh, if you want to set output mode explicitly we can uh, provide update or append here and format console and unless we hit start we are not getting uh, uh, any result on this streaming query so uh, when we hit to start uh, this query will uh, run infinitely uh, unless we hit this await termination uh, we, we get this, this command so we can uh, terminate it uh, gracefully what is, hmm. what is default output mode default output mode uh, is append mode uh, like uh, this is the, this is the default uh, so append mode tells like only the changes that has been made after the last trigger will be appended So uh, we have uh, this set up on the Spark shell. So uh, in the complete mode, uh, when, whenever we are hitting a new line on this uh, below socket stream, uh, this entire, the fresh batch will uh, contain the entire words and their counts uh, in the output.
So uh, when we have uh, a forward socket and this is the port number that we have provided, when we hit, uh, it will uh, rede uh, redefine this uh, line. Will be defined output now? In into the right stream when we are uh, actually creating the streaming query. Mm -hmm. Then this I'm going to give this. So word count is a data frame. Word counts uh, that we have provided here. And okay. this is the uh, place we are uh, we are providing the output mode uh, complete. So when we hit uh, right stream output mode complete, when we start, it will start computing. Format is missing. Now this query is active and listening for uh, data, so we can hit. <coughs> so uh, this is the entire complete set of uh, output uh, as uh, we have specified in the output mode. You can also change the output made, uh, mode to append. But uh, I think on aggregation append is uh, not supported. So uh, when we are uh, invoking any aggregation, uh, the append mode uh, won't work. So these are the limitations with uh, certain modes and any operations. This was the basic example of word count uh, that uh, is streaming word count. Moving on, uh, we have basic operations uh, that are supported. Uh, these are not the only operations. Uh, there are uh, quite uh, more operations listed on the documentation. But uh, we have this this basic operations uh, like uh, how we can select and project uh, uh, as a query. So we have a case class here, uh, device data, uh, that is, uh, uh, this is the type uh, or, or the name of the device, this is the type of the uh, device and uh, signal as a double and time as a date time. So uh, <coughs> here type, uh, it won't compile uh, because this is a reserved keyword uh, in the spark. Actually it is uh, a wrong line uh, given in the spark documentation and uh, you complain for and this is the data frame uh, that we are uh, we may create uh, as we created before and we can convert in, uh, into a device data uh, a data set of a type device data that uh, we have uh, provided here and we can make queries select a device which have signal more than 10 so this will like will be expressed as a SQL dialect uh, with the help of methods. Like not exactly the SQLs. Uh, we, we will select device uh, where signal is sent. So it is almost uh, the same as the SQL-like uh, queries, and uh, we can also filter uh, with the help of. But uh, these are the operations only uh, supported on the type uh, data frame. That is the data set. And uh, we can make uh, a group or aggregation uh, on basis of type, and uh, we can call count on this. So uh, we can also have a running average signal for each device type. Like for a uh, group by any, uh, we can have any field uh, that is suitable for a group by operation, and a typed average, and uh, we have signal here. So again, uh, this is uh, only available on the typed uh, data set. And uh, lastly, uh, the window operations on event time. So, uh, uh, with uh, reference to our uh, previous example, uh, the running word count, suppose it had uh, uh, 
a time stamp field uh, prior to the word so uh, when we have a, a time stamp uh, when the word is being generated we can actually make a window query so uh, we can uh, give uh, three arguments like the 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 time window and the slide like uh, uh, on uh, what frequency the uh, the window will slide and and the and the uh, and the column name that is so dollar here uh, will reference to a column name uh, this is a shortcut for uh, calling a column name in the words and we can perform count on this so when we perform count uh, it is depicted by this uh, figure like how it will be computed so this is the time and uh, we have a five minute triggers for every five minutes we have a result of 10 minute window uh, so on uh, 12 o'clock we have no data and on uh, 12 05 we have uh, two words like <coughs> dog dog and cat dog so where cat is one and dog is three uh, on this instant this will be uh, computed and af after uh, every five five minutes uh, it will uh, take like a trigger and give data for the last 10 minutes so still i guess uh, we have here output mode as a complete output mode so uh, all the data we have so far uh, it will aggregate on uh, the basis of that and so uh, again in the last in the last i think we have all the data so far we have on this uh, stream and counts for all the uh, so uh, still i have no uh, so it is changing the time for every 5 minutes and it's a 10 minute window yes so as right. Uh, Right. Uh, means every after every five minutes, it will fetch the last ten minutes data and will do the computation. Yes. Right. But if, and how much time will it take to perform? Give, give me the result. How much time? Uh, so that depends on again uh, the, the data. The query. Okay. So now, uh, if it exceeds uh, five minutes, then next computation will happen or not? Obviously, if, uh, it, it will, will be it traveling, uh, executing simultaneously. Yeah, uh, it will uh, run the query on the background. So whenever uh, we start a query, streaming query, it will, it will be incrementally, incrementally running uh, in the background. As you can see on the Spark cell, when we hit a query, the state is active. So uh, as long as this state is active, it will be computed, being computed in the background. Okay. And. Uh, we have all those correct results. Uh, so even if we have uh, a late data uh, at some instant uh, that I have not covered in this presentation, we will get those results for uh, late data as well, grouped in correct time frame, uh, like correct window we uh, we, uh, we provided. So this will obviously give the correct result uh, at the end, and it will uh, trigger unless it crashes or. Uh, uh, and even if we, uh, it will crash uh, with the help of uh, the checkpoints and the right handed logs, it will recover and reprocess. So it will be uh, fault uh, tolerant uh, for, and uh, will give uh, accurate results. So, any more questions on this? So, basically, you didn't give the, did you give an example of projection? Projection? Uh, no, uh, this is the uh, de only depiction of this operation. Here uh, we have uh, this this uh, line that will depict the next picture. So we have a window of timestamp. Like a timestamp is uh, uh, here. Uh, this is the schema that will uh, be used for words. And this will be uh, the second argument uh, as 10 minutes. That is the window uh, size. And the next will be the frequency that. Uh, the, the time uh, on which the uh, window uh, will slide and trigger queries and uh, the last the the word that we are uh, giving a column name on which we are making a relation slide 5 minute ka like matlab ye hai ki jab the query start hui to 5 minute baad wo 5 minute ke window open karega jitni operation perform honi hai window ko 10 minute ke open karega slide karega so one bit hui hai andri yahan pe jab it starts 12 baje se start hua Right, then this will, it will slide this window by 5 minutes, but the, the window size will be 10 minutes. 